We were beaten by a very, very good side. Um, they, they were, they're an outstanding side. They're the best side in the league. Um, and they showed that today. Um, look, we started very well. We had, you know, two early chances with the best chance of the game. We needed to take that. Um, and then, look, they, they were just clinical when they, when they got opportunities. Look, they're a very difficult side to play against. They have a real brave structure. We tried to come here and press them, but it was, it was difficult. But look, they're, they're a very good side. So, so look, we're, we're, we were beaten today, as I said, by, by the best side in the league. The, the triple change on the hour did seem to change things. It did, but look, we, we the ironic thing is we, we we made changes today with the Rotherham game on Tuesday in mind because we've obviously we've had so three tough games um that have really gone to the wire. Um we this this was a, we knew it would be a difficult game, so we made changes to freshen it up so that we wouldn't be going in the Rotherham game on Tuesday. Then ironically that was called off late yesterday. So look, it's been a, a bit disjointed the preparation. But when we made the triple change, look, we, we looked a little bit more athletic. We, we in fact there was more freshness came off the bench, and we needed that today. But we knew we'd need that today because we knew we need everyone at it, um, everyone to be on the front foot, everyone really to, to 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 put in a shift. Because as I said, these are a very very good side at this level. These are Man City, you know, so they're very difficult to play against. And despite that, Nathan, you had um, the two best chances in the first half, didn't you, early on? Had one of those gone, it might have been different. It, it might have been. And that's about we said to him before, we need to do the basics right. We need outwork Norwich. And, and when we get opportunities, we need to be clinical because you don't get bags and bags of opportunities. They've, they've, we last beat them in the league. They've conceded 11 goals in the league. So they're a very, very tough side to play against. They score plenty. They don't concede much. So you know you've got to be at your best. And, and we didn't take those chances early. And then... Obviously, you, 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 you know, it gives them a little bit, bit of a lift. And then they get, they score a wonderful goal. Second's a little bit fortuitous, so's the third. But I'm not saying that that, that was a reflection on, on, on the fairness of the scoreline. What it was, was we probably could have defended the goals better. And yes, you're right, we did have the best chances first half and we needed to take those. When we didn't, then look, it's a difficult game then. It was just unfortunate with James, wasn't it? It just came off the post... Um... At the, at the back first, didn't it? Yeah, look, it, it was, it's a chance. I have to look at it back to see if it was a miss or see that he did everything he could and and, and so on. But look, James has, has come back into the in, into the team. He hasn't he hasn't sort of sort of played the last couple, so maybe a little bit rusty and and so on. And we had a few there today that that hadn't played lately. Barry, you know, George Moncur that came into the team. Craney that 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 um, that you know needed the minutes, needed to get that freshness because. It's another three-game week today. It would have been Tuesday, Saturday, and then Tuesday again. So it's you know it's, it's big game. So we knew we had the fresh and stuff up because we've not gone three on the spin, three wins on the spin before. Every time we get two on the spin, that's that third game we lose. So we thought, look, we've got to freshen it up. It's just a very difficult game to freshen it up. But realistically, are we closer to Norwich or are we closer to Rotherham? And the Probably the, the 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 true answer is we're closer to Rotherham, so that was slightly the more important game out of the two. I guess the timing of the second goal as well, just before half time, was was fairly crucial, wasn't it? It was because we were, you know, and it's happened twice and it happened to the Sheffield Wednesday game. It's just these are a different proposition to Sheffield Wednesday, and we couldn't get it back. If we got in at one nil, you're thinking, okay, keep it tight and 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 so on. But two nil is very difficult to get back against Norwich. As I said, their, their defensive record's excellent and they're, they're, they're so difficult to play against. So if you do actually go gung-ho against them, they will they, they can rip you apart, as I've seen them do in, in the games that I've watched. I've seen teams go after them, not get it right and and really suffer. Um, and, you know, and, and that's what we didn't want to happen today. And just watching, they, they, they do play through the press really well, don't they? How much can your players sort of take from watching that and seeing that happen to them? Well, it, the best experience is playing in it. And I said, these, look, these are Premier League side. They've been Premier League, Championship, Premier League, Championship, Premier League again, they will be. Um, so, so look, they, they're recruiting and they're, they're preparing for a different level than what we're at. And, and, and sometimes that shows. And we have to take that on the chin because we're not quite at this level. And it's not me being negative, it's me being realistic. So if I actually go in and, and really chastise my players for this for this defeat after the week we've had, where we've beaten Sheffield Wednesday, beaten Nottingham Forest, to come to Norwich and, and do that, it maybe was just a little bit of a bridge too far. But I'm proud of the, of the group and the week we've had. And we have to realise that this is the level we want to get to, but we're not there yet. Does having a break now on Tuesday help you? 
I don't really want it because it's our game in hand. Rotherham's our game in hand. So what it means is we'd rather try to get points on the board. So say we picked up a point or three against Rotherham, then we'd be up at the level games with everyone. And, you know, three points. Yeah. Could, if, we, if, if, if we win our game in hand, for example, it's possible to go to like 10th in the, in, in the table. And that's a wonderful, wonderful position to be in. And that gives us confidence when you're looking at that table. But but look, it's not to be, it's not going to be played until, till late, until early May. So that's unfortunate because it means we have to wait for our game in hand now. Uh, Nathan, what time did you find out about the Rotherham game? Was it, was it just completely too late to change anything? All the well, it was, it was, it was, it was, we, we found out considerably later than when we, we, we did our prep work. So we've been preparing for, for two games and it's not you know, a weakened team. What it is, it's, it's because we, we, we've done a big shift on, on Tuesday, then travelled. Then to do a big shift today, which we knew would have to be, and then travel again, and then and then go into the Rotherham game. We knew that we had to do we had to change some things up. So, in all probability, we probably thought which of the one we are probably more likely to win. I'm giving you inside info here yeah, in, in terms of that, and and probably the Rotherham game. The odds are stacked more in our favour than, than than the Norwich one. So we made changes for this one to freshen stuff up. With, with an eye on that, but it, it wasn't to be. But listen, there's nothing we can do. Um, as I said, it, it's just a great learning curve for us. These are the levels we want to attain. Um, we weren't at it today, but I, I'm proud of my place. We stuck at it. We did, you know, you don't see anyone throwing the towel in, don't see anyone giving up on anything. We kept going right to the end. It's just these are a better side than us at this point in time. 